In this video, we will learn how to convert your supply chain data between different scenario types. Any Logistics offers three scenario types, greenfield analysis, network optimization, and simulation. Each type helps to advance and optimize your supply chain in terms of the problem it addresses. You are not restricted to work with the initially chosen scenario type. You are free to switch to the required type by converting the scenario data. Let's have a closer look at this process. Assume that we have a GFA scenario with a supply chain on the territory of the Netherlands. Let's run the experiment to obtain the possible locations for the two new distribution centers. The result can be converted to any other scenario type. If we convert it to the GFA type, we will simply create a copy of the existing scenario, which will now have these two new objects in its structure. That is not as interesting in terms of our subject, so we will convert it to the NO type to observe the actual changes. These changes do not affect the data of the scenario, which remains intact. They mostly reflect the organization of data to suit the requirements of this scenario type. And here's what we are talking about. The network optimization scenario uses two new tables as compared to the greenfield analysis scenario, the product flows and the product storages tables. The data they contain is acquired based on the sourcing of the GFA scenario type. Sourcing is either specified manually or is taken from the result of the GFA experiment, which is our case. So it is the same scenario with the same set of data. We have neither lost data nor acquired the false or irrelevant data for our supply chain. Conversion is as safe as it can be. Let's run the experiment to see how it goes. Validation found no errors. The experiment is completed successfully. Every piece of data is in place. The iteration with the optimal solution is selected by default. We can instantly see it on the map. And then we can also click the structure view to observe the logical structure of the scenario. It shows that all elements of our supply chain are properly connected. We have previously converted data between the analytical types of scenarios. This time we will convert the result to a simulation type. The structure view shows that there are no changes to the logic of our scenario. However, the data has been reorganized once again to correspond to the simulation type's requirements. The inventory table contains data that is derived from the product storages table of the network optimization scenario. The shipping and the sourcing tables have generated policies based on the data from the product flows and the product storages tables of the network optimization scenario. So much for the changes. Let's add the profit and loss statement statistics to the experiments dashboard to make sure that the orders are placed and the corresponding calculations are made. And here they are. All works well. As you understand, the conversion process does not change the scenario characteristics. It prepares the existing data for the required scenario type. Feel free to use it as often as required. Thanks for watching. Like this video, subscribe, and let us know what else you'd like to learn in the comments below.